Loving that storm in uh, Roswell yes, this afternoon, though. I don't exactly. know. If Carl, did Carlsbad get any of this? Carlsbad had some outside of town. I don't think but nothing any. In town. Yeah, nothing right in town. But we're going to at least have the chance over the next three to four days. So let's go ahead and show you what's going on. We go up to the north. We've had a few scattered showers up here as well. You can see one just skirting across your screen here, right about there, and now it's gone. But then here in the metro area, we've seen the character of our clouds change a little bit here over the past few hours. This is about three hours ago, and there wasn't much on the horizon, but we are seeing things start to bubble up a little bit more here in the metro. But we're not looking necessarily at a lot of action here, even through tomorrow. And this shot, beautiful one, though, not showing us much showers here. And through tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be all right. But as we get into Saturday and Sunday, that's really going to be our chance to do much better for storms. As far as what we're getting right now across the state, most of the action is down across essentially south of the I-40 area. And this is it across southeastern New Mexico. Dick, you mentioned Carlsbad. Not a whole lot happening there. A few showers skirting in and out. But check out the cell over Roswell. It's not going anywhere. Essentially, it's raining itself out right over town. That's why you guys in Roswell have a flood advisory right now. Some heavier rain also falling around Lovington, Hobbs, and up toward Tatum at this point. So areas of Chavez County, Eddy County, and Lee County is all doing okay right now. And will do okay over the weekend, it looks like, as well around Alamogordo, some pretty good storms. These are starting to push toward Tularosa at this point. We've already had rain around Ruidoso and Cloudcroft, not seeing much in those areas right now. Around Lordsburg and over into western Luna County, some stronger storms here as well. In the metro, quiet for us. 92 degrees. Winds are not a big factor out there right now. Across the north, temperatures for the most part in the 80s, down to the south, anywhere from the 70s where we've gotten rain, Rudoso and Hobbs all the way up into the low 90s around Las Cruces and then Silver City mid 70s right now as well. We're starting to see some changes in the atmosphere. Remember, we always watch that area of high pressure, which tends to dictate our weather at this time of year. It's finally going to give us some help versus hurting us over the next couple of days for tomorrow. Again, not necessarily a huge thunderstorm day as the high kind of slides back and forth, but it will slide over to our east throughout the weekend. Then a cold front's going to come in through northeastern New Mexico. So the combination of the moisture from the south, thanks to the high, and the moisture behind the cold front will collide over the state. And we're going to get the chance at quite a few showers out there and some isolated flooding possible, not only in burn scar areas, but I think some mountain sections of the north, if things work out right, could see some really heavy rain as well. So this could be a very good setup and you can see it on our storm track here tomorrow. Mainly again, southern mountains favored for the storms throughout the afternoon hours. But watch what happens as we head into Saturday. You'll start to see the expansion of the rain across a good portion of the state. Northern mountains down through the Albuquerque area and back off to the south and west. And on Sunday, it looks like that'll continue to be a factor. And Sunday could even be a morning where we could see some rain as well. So this looks like a very good setup. Much more on that coming up tonight at 9 and 10. 80s and 90s, partly cloudy with spot storms in the four corners tomorrow. Better chances Saturday and Sunday with occasionally heavy rain possible. South and west scattered storms tomorrow and we crank it up once again Saturday, Sunday and maybe even into Monday as well. Over into the southeast, partly sunny with isolated storms for tomorrow, especially over the mountains. Another warm one, little better chance of rain for Roswell Saturday into Sunday with temperatures in the 90s. 93 Springer, 91 in Roy and 97 in Conscious. Scattered storms here, much better shot Saturday and Sunday thanks to the front. Look at the high on Sunday, just 77 degrees in Las Vegas. Over the northern mountains, 70s, 80s and 90s. Afternoon mountain thunderstorms storms and a much better shot Saturday and Sunday. And yeah, that's a cloudy with rain on Sunday in Santa Fe. About time. 93 in Sandia Park, 90 in Mountain Air, and finally right here in the Metro. Isolated for tomorrow. I wouldn't get too hung up on tomorrow. It's not going to be a great one. But Saturday into Sunday, we get our chance as well. And that could last into Monday. What we've been hoping uh, to hear. Finally. Sports is next.